Hello everybody, this is Black Widow 7293 Today I would like to do a unboxing video of a piece of vape mail that I just received. It is from Buckeye Vapors. I had sent them an email and had some conversation with them about reviewing some of their products for them. They had uh, came through, sent me an email back, said they had a package in the mail. Uh, I wasn't sure what they had sent me. From the sounds of it, it sounds like e-juice. Uh, I got on their site, checked out some of their flavors. Uh, Tommy Vapors had suggested that I check out uh, their site to see what they have for flavors and they have a lot of nice stuff on there. So overall, I want to say uh, thank you for allowing me to review your products and I'm glad that I had the uh, opportunity to do so. So before I open the vape mail, I want to give you guys some basic information about Buckeye Vapors. Uh, they have a great site, they have a lot of flavors, they're uh, very inventive when it comes to the name of some of their flavors. Um, so I have some basic information I'd like to uh, give you guys. Okay, so the company name, if you haven't figured it out already, is Buckeye Vapors. They are located in Grove City, Ohio. I'm going to be putting their name right above here. I'll be putting their link in the information. Um, in case you can't find it on the website, they do have a phone to the company as well. It's 614-594-8273. So if you don't want to do it by email or you don't want to do it uh, just by the other site, you can call them directly and get some information. Uh, they were. It's actually founded by two guys, Alan and Josh. So I can relate to a lot of this uh, with what they were doing. But they were both a pack a day smokers and they had came across uh, the 510 e-cigs that you see and they decided to order them and that's how they got into vaping. Uh, their main goal, it says on their website, is to provide a positive experience for every, anyone that's involved with them and or their business. Uh, their website is very, very easy to navigate, it's very appealing. Uh, they have an apparel tab on it so you can go and buy t-shirts. I think they have two t-shirts listed right now. They sell for about $20 a piece. Uh, they have some neat little quirks on the front of the shirts. Uh, their e-juice department, which you will see when you get to the website, has 381 juices available at this time. They also have a gift certificate department. So if it's a cut, you know, if you've been there and you like the juices and you want to gift it to somebody, send out a gift certificate. Um, so there, there are sub menus that they have. I went down through every single menu and I had listed some of the stuff from each menu to give you an idea of what they have to offer. Their first sub menu is a sampler pack menu. You go in there and they offer two styles of sampler packs. You can choose every single flavor you want sent to you, but they're all going to be five milliliter bottles. <clears throat> Their first sampler pack they offer is a six pack of five milliliter and you can choose your own nicotine strength and they are $24 for the sampler pack. For the second sampler pack that they offer, it's a 12 pack. So you get 12 5 milliliter bottles for $45. The next sub menu they offer on their site is a create your own. I like this because I like to create some stuff. You know, if you like two flavors, you can merge them. Uh, what you do is you actually go right in there, you choose the nicotine strength, you choose the bottle size, and then underneath that there is a box you type in what you want them to do and what you want them to mix. So that's nice. Um, usually you're limited when you go to create. You can do like the mixes and you're limited to a menu. This way you can put into your own words what you want done and you send it to them to submit it with your order. So that's nice. Uh, for the create your own, they offer the smallest bottle is 10 milliliters for $8. That's not bad up to a 4 ounce 120 milliliter bottle for $48. That is a big bottle. So for the next menu, they have tobaccos. Now for the tobaccos, I just wanted to list some of the flavors that they offer. Uh, everybody's heard of 555, well they have a 55.5. They also have an analog flavor for like your basic analog cigarette flavor. They have Gypsy Hunter and then they offer blends as well for the tobacco. Uh, so the blends they offer, just a couple examples, are BV4 and Bees Leaves. Bees Leaves has a photo of like honey, a honeycomb, 
uh, with some tobacco on it. So you can probably guess it's like a honey roasted tobacco. So the next sub menu is mints and menthols. Uh, some of the flavors from that are green light, hell froze over, that's an awesome name. Uh, originality is what gets you far in this business, so kudos to you guys. And octo chill. The next sub menu is sweets. There are two sub menus into that menu for desserts or candies. Uh, I, chose, I picked a couple from both. Uh, there's a caramel apple, cotton candy, gummy blood, and juicy fruit. So that's nice. You guys have a lot of uh, options into that. The next sub menu is beverages. And inside that is two other menus to choose from. Pop or energy drinks or Java which is coffee. Uh, so some of the examples from that are Blue Water, our Blue Water Punch, Chai, Earl Grey, and Cup of Joe. The next sub menu they offer is fruits. And some of the examples from that are, oh, this is a hard one, Oopals and Bonobos, that's a good song by the way, uh, Crunchberry, Down South, and Nanormelon. Uh, the picture for Nanormelon is actually a banana with like a watermelon center. It's kind of neat. It's, it's a neat little design they set up. Also for fruits, for another sub menu, they offer fruit blends. And the two sub menus in that are chilled or cherries and berries. I'm guessing chilled would be menthol. Uh, they offer Bazinga, Bride of Vapenstein, and Dragon Fruit. Or, no, Dragon Farts. Had to put that one in. That's another original name. Another one of the menus for flavors they offer are spirits. And some of the examples from that are bourbon, Kahlua and cream, raspberry mojito, smurfberry mojito, and the one everybody knows, Jagerbaum. And they also have an oddball menu, which is nice for you know the ones that don't fit, and there are a lot of good options in that too. Some of the examples are addiction. Uh, that one does not have a picture, it just says you get addicted to all kinds of things, why not get addicted to this flavor? Uh, cherry Blossom, PB&J, and Clove. So that is a really, really good options they got there. Uh, I didn't even list off quarter of their juices, they offer 381 juices. Their juices come in a variety of nicotine strength. You have 0, 6, 12, 18, and 24 milligrams of nicotine. Their juices also come in a variety of sizes. The smallest is 5 milliliters for $6, 20 milliliters for $12, 30 milliliters for $16, 120 milliliters, which is your four ounce bottle for $48. They also offer wholesale. When you go into the wholesale menu, it has you put your information in, has you put your address in, and then you can contact them via through the website. So that's nice. They also have a Facebook. So if you want to check them out on Facebook, they have all kinds of deals and promos like that on there. Uh, they keep their prices low on purpose so they don't have to deal with a lot of like coupon codes and stuff like that because their prices are pretty, pretty cheap. They're a lot lower than most places I've been to. So I recommend that you check out their website. There's a lot of information I could not cover. Uh, this video would be over an hour long if that was the case. So let's get into this vape mail and see what they sent me. Okay, let's open this package up. Holy crap. That is a crazy amount of juices. These are all in 5 mil bottles, so let's pop them out one at a time. Check them out. They also have the safety cap, and to make the safety cap even better, they also have like the locking ring on the bottom which seals it. So let's open this first one. This first one is called Misfits. It's 12 milligrams of Nick, 5 mil bottle. It's clear. I kind of like the clear juices. Uh, so let's open this up. You can actually hear it click when it opens. So it's got two safeties on it so you know your juice has not been tampered with. And that's one heck of a safety cap. There we go. Take that off. It's got the fine tip on it and I did not research any of these flavors obviously I just opened it so I'm gonna go strictly on first impressions of their juices and I'll tell you what I can smell. 
first thing I smell with this juice is great. It's, uh, I don't know. I would say grape or like a cherry and grape. Uh, I'm guessing Misfits is probably a bunch of things all put together. Very, very good smelling juice. It's very sweet smelling. It's um, not so much candy. I would say fruit. So that smells like a good juice. Can't wait to try this stuff. Next one. Let's see what else we got. Mind blower. Five mils. Ten milligram. Clear as well. And this seems to be pretty thick. So I uh, did not mention on their website what the mix is for it. But I would say that it's high on the VG side. So that's good. I actually prefer higher VG. That smells sweet. It's called Mind Blower again. I don't know. It smells really sweet, almost like a juice. It's got kind of a fruit smell to it. I don't know, that one stumped me. That's definitely a mind blower. I'll have to look these up. I'm going to be doing uh, separate reviews for every one of these juices. So, uh, to get a little more information on how well they vape and everything, keep tuned to my channel. I'll be having more videos, one for every single juice. This one, oh, there we go, Tommy. German chocolate cake. You're the. That's actually the video that convinced me to check out Buckeye Vapors. So I'm a German chocolate cake fan too, so is Tommy Vapors, and I'm really glad that I got this. It kind of has a, a darker color to it. This is going to be probably one of the most anticipated juices that I have wanted to try. Oh, yes. First thing you smell is a deep like a dark chocolate, like that German chocolate cake flavor. That is the first thing you smell out of this. And you actually get that coconut undertone. That smells very, very good. Uh, this is definitely baked good. You can tell right off the bat what it is. Even without looking at this name, you can tell that chocolate is in it. So. I can't wait to try this. All of these juices seem to be the same consistency too, so I'm guessing they're probably the same blend. So it's pretty thick. It is a little cold outside too, so that could be uh, why they're thicker. I'm going to uh, let them get up to room temp before I even try them. This one's actually handwritten on. It's by. Uh, it's got five mils, twelve, five milliliter bottle, twelve milligram. And it's called Storm. too. That smells like it could be menthol. I would say probably a strawberry. That's what it smells like, like a strawberry or maybe with a kiwi in it. Maybe it's like a fruit salad, maybe that's why it's storm, it's kind of all put together. I don't know, but that smells really, really good. What else we got? Come on, camera, stay with me. This one is mentholic, so you can tell right off the bat that this is going to be a menthol juice. Wow, yes, uh, this is 12 milligrams as well. It's kind of got like a wintergreen smell to it. Like if you ever smelled uh, like the winter green candies, that's what it smells like. It smells really, really good. And uh, I'm a, a mint wintergreen menthol fan anyways, so 
That would be a good juice to try. Another one we got, Moon Dollars. I'm guessing this is probably like a moon pie, like a chocolate. Uh, it's a darker juice, as you can see. <clears throat> it's actually not as dark as the camera is showing. It's, it's a little lighter than that. Moon Dollars. Yeah, it kind of has like a creamy smell to it. Yeah, like a darker chocolate too. So I'm guessing that would be a chocolate. I'm guessing it would be a moon pie as it's uh, moon dollars. That smells really good. It has a sweet smell to it as well. Wow, I thought we were getting towards the bottom of the bag. I guess not yet. Uh, this one is called Blackbeard. So right off the bat, the name of that one kind of tells me it's got to be a tobacco. Uh, I think it is, I think of like a pirate type of deal, so I would guess like a, a spice, maybe a spice tobacco. It smells really good. I can already smell it just taking the cap off. That was actually very deceiving by the name, it, uh, it does, it, I think tropical. That smells really, really, really good. I can't even put my uh, finger on what the smell of that is. That is uh, a lot different than I was expecting by the name. So this one is called Sweet Tobacco. It's clear as well. Yeah, this one is sweet. It has like a honey, a honey smell to it. Tobaccos are really usually hard to pick up when you uh, are trying to smell them. When they get more taste than they do smell. So this one's also clear. It is the same consistency for thickness. Yeah, oh, four more left. Wow. This one is a 5 mil, and it is Atomic Fireball. Yes, I love cinnamon stuff, especially fireballs. Whew. Yep. It's cinnamon. This smells really, really good. It's got that sweet cinnamon right up in your face type of smell. Can't wait to try that. I like anything cinnamon. Blueberry Snowbacco. So I'm guessing by the name of this, it's got to be a blueberry tobacco. It's also 12 milligrams of Nick, 5 mil bottle. These are all easy squeezy bottles, by the way. They're the bottles that are easier to squeeze. You don't have to put a whole bunch of elbow grease in to get the juice out. Yes, um, definitely blueberry. You can smell that right off the bat and it has like that caramely rich tobacco undertone. That smells really, really good. Can't wait to try that either. Two left, guys. That is a lot of e juice. Ah, there we go. It's from my neck of the woods. Redneck. So, I'm guessing from this, I would guess like a country, something to do with a southern thing. Yep. That has like a little bit of a peach or a fruity, definitely fruity, whatever it is. That smells really, really good. Um, Those are puzzling. Very puzzling. Definitely fruit. And it's definitely a red fruit. I would say a peach. Definitely not cherry. Oh, not peach. What am I saying? Duh. Uh, strawberry. That smells good. Very good. That's definitely uh, one of the fruit right there, I would guess. Tasty Rainbow. It 
last one that they have is Tasty Rainbow. That smells like Skittles. Straight up Skittles. So this concludes their e-juice. Uh, they sent me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 bottles. So I'm guessing that is probably their 12 sampler pack. So thank you very much guys. They also sent me uh, two of their carts. Like I said, their, their logos are pretty cool. And it's 10% off uh, purchase of a starter kit with this coupon. So I decided to buy a starter kit or maybe any of you guys want a starter kit. Be sure to let me know. So thanks again Buckeye Vapors. I will be posting a video for every one of these juices when I sample them. I appreciate the opportunity to review the products at your company. This is Black Widow 7293. And always vape.